one again, and I'll break your legs. Please, we'll go back. You should be more worried about what else I'm willing to do to get you to talk. Answer my questions, and you won't have to find out. Did or didn't a vampire come through here? Bullshit. His scent is marked all through this town. It's faint. But I can tell it's him. The only thing I'm willing to believe is that you're either lying to me, or you're blind. And by the look of your working eyes, it seems you might be lying. I'm going to ask one more time. Has a vampire come through this town? His name is Jack Lopez. People call him Jackalope. Brown hair, scars on his mouth, and tattoos on his upper body. I've smelt him here. So, talk. Or I'm going to start ripping limbs to get answers. His scent is all over this town. You're telling me that a rogue vampire came here, in your territory, and you didn't know? Where's your maker? You're obviously not the one in charge here, so tell me where your maker is so I can speak to them. Because you have a homicidal vampire running through your town, and I'm here to get rid of him. You all right there, Doc? Good. You must have a lot of courage to be walking into a house of God and threatening innocent folks. Oh, oh fuck. Great. Oh, Wraith. I am. Now you want to explain what it is you're doing here? I was getting some answers. Now, I'm gonna kick your ass for throwing me into a wall. Christ almighty, I don't have time for this. What answers is yawn about? Another vampire. Well then. It seems like we need to talk. Bit of advice. Don't start a fight and turn your back. Did he say something? Doc. I thought so. Do you have any idea how hard it was to carve these? Don't care. All I know is that I'm going to break a lot more than some old furniture. What in tarnation are you? I've seen wolves. That thing ain't look like no damn dog. Nothing gets past you, does it? Get out of my way. I'll be back for you after I'm done with the Holy Spirit over there. Tell me to calm down again, and I'll rip your throat out. Show some manners and listen for once. Uh, uh, uh. Darren Lancer. Rat. Mr. Lancer. Darren. Darren. Listen, I'm too old to go around fine folks, and you clearly got some business here that needs tending to. So how about we both act like grown men? Not a man. People.
How about we both act like grown people and talk this out? What if I want to throw you around some? That first round was a cheap shot, punk. You know what I am. So you know that if I don't want your hands on me, you're not gonna throw nothing but air. Your friend over there can't say the same thing. You talk tough, but if you really wanted to hurt him, you'd have done it already. That's a lot of faith in someone you hardly know. Call it an old habit. You wanted to talk? Start. Name's Lazarus de la Cruz. I'm the one in charge here. You? You ain't look like much yourself either, punk. What you out here for? I'm looking for a man named Jack Lopez. We don't know no Jack. That seems to be the running story. Far as we knew, the only vampire that's here is Doc. And we ain't heard of anyone new coming around here. He's probably lurking about nearby. He's here. He's marked this entire place with his smell, so it's hard to tell where exactly. That, and here smells so much like death that it's messing with my senses. That'd be the town's natural charm. You must get a lot of visitors. We get passers-by. No one stays. I suggest you follow suit and move along. Can't do that. If Jack's staying here, then I'm going to be here to kill him. This town don't need blood staining it. Good thing I'm only here to kill one person. It'll be easy to clean. Why are you looking to kill this, Jack? None of your business. It became my business when you started throwing furniture in my damn church. <sighs> I'll stay quiet. I'll find a room in a motel nearby and I'll lay low till I find him. After that, I'll rip his guts out and I'll be out of your hair. You must be a peach. It's been real, Doc. I'll see you around. Don't worry. You're not in my way, so I have nothing against you. Keep it that way, and you'll be fine. My pews need to be repaired. And? You broke them. Your face broke them after you fell on them. I'll need you to either pay for the damages or make new ones. Those are your options. You wouldn't fight me, but you're hung up on a broken furniture. My work is important. I'll make your fucking chairs. You know how. Doesn't look too hard. Go find a place in town and rest. Doc will meet you there and help you tomorrow night and find me. No need. I can find you myself. You have a map. You smell like sawwood, smoke, and dirt. I can track you. See you around, priest. What is going on with that one? We gotta keep an eye on them while they're here. Make sure that punk doesn't go around breaking shit while they look for this jack of his. We got too much going on here already. We don't need anyone coming here and disturbing the peace. For now, we rest. You got any better ideas? Thought so. I'll see you tomorrow night. I'll organize things before the sermon. I'll say when the cows broke loose and came through air. That's a good point. I'll bust the lock on the door to make it look like that happened. You said yourself that we need to keep this magic thing a secret. I'm doing that. No need to worry about the details. I've got everything handled. You go on ahead. 
I'll take care of things here. I'm sure. <laughs>